Hello, I'm Todd McCracken. I'm the president and CEO of the National Small Business Association, and I'm uh, happy to be here today to talk about uh, maybe a little bit of an early Christmas present for the small business community. I'm pretty happy that uh, the Congress is now finally poised to pass a new Economic Stimulus and Economic Recovery Act uh, that will have a lot of really important benefits for the small business community, benefits that we fought hard for and that you all have fought hard for. And so it's uh, it's really nice to be able to report this to you today. Uh, just so you know, the details are still coming out uh, in terms of how all this will be implemented and some time frames. And so uh, we will be back with all of our members in the small business community with more information, more detailed information really soon on our website. And we'll also host some webinars and some podcasts to get your questions answered. But in the meantime, really a, an overview of this is there'll be a new round of Paycheck Protection Program loans. Uh, There'll be uh, even more funds going to some specific businesses than before. It'll be two and a half times payroll will be the maximum loan amount for most companies. But for those who are in the accommodations and restaurant industries that have been really hard hit, it'll be three and a half times. Uh, those loans can be fully forgiven if, uh, if the company spend at least 60% of their revenue, of, excuse me, of those uh, loan amounts on, uh, on payroll expenses. Uh, and those forgiven funds will be tax-free, truly tax-free. Uh, not only will the amounts of, of the forgiven dollars not be taxable income, but the other thing that we fought really hard to overturn this time around is to make sure the expenses that underlie those, uh, th th that, that those forgiven funds are, are fully deductible. And that is in this bill, both for the past PPP loans and for the new ones that will be rolling out. Not only that, but there are special accommodations for the smallest business, businesses to make sure they're not stuck behind the line uh, and getting these loans. They'll get special treatment uh, for under 10 employees. Um, <clears throat> And also, things like meals and entertainment deductions are, are being raised temporarily 100%. So that's a big benefit for those for restaurants. It's also a big benefit for the small business community uh, overall who, who, who rely on that for a lot of their, uh, their marketing expenses. So there's a lots of good stuff in here. Uh, we're excited to get it passed. I want you to know, though, that we don't stop here. There's more stuff that will need to be done for the small business community. This is temporary, and the economic recovery is a long road. So this is, this is not the end. But it's, uh, it's, uh, it's, it's nevertheless, uh, I think, really good news. So I want to thank you all for your support of us. Uh, and thank you all for, uh, for uh, writing your congressman and getting the message out to the small business, uh, about the small business community's needs uh, when we need it most. So uh, thanks to uh, the members of Congress who finally pulled this together. And I uh, and, uh, hope you all enjoy the holidays. Uh, I know I will. And stay tuned. We'll be back with a whole bunch more, uh, more detailed information. But thanks a lot.